Welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. If you're a fan of Pelham Blue, and more importantly, if you're a fan of Pelham Blue's power and Jared James Nichols, you'd be very happy. We are covering the new Epiphone Jared James Nichols Les Paul Custom Blues Power in aged Pelham Blue. Very cool at $9.99. I'll tell you all about it. I'll tell you everything you need to know. We'll put it on the bench and talk specs. We'll pull it apart, and then of course, we'll plug it in and play it. At the top, remember if you're in the market for the Blues Power, Les Paul Custom, or any other gear, click to buy new gear using our link. You'll find that pinned in the comments or in the description. Helps us make these demos when you buy new gear using our link, so thank you. We're also giving away a Martin D28 acoustic guitar when we hit 100,000 subscribers. Just hit subscribe and use the entry link also pinned in the comments or in the description. All right, without further ado, let me give you a first look at the Jared James Nichols Les Paul Custom. Looks great, and I'll tell you all about the features. Let's get started. So this guitar checks a lot of boxes. If you like the simplicity of like a Les Paul Jr. and you love the sound of a P90, this guitar is gonna give that to you, but with the cosmetic stylings of a Les Paul Custom, which I absolutely love. So you're gonna get the split diamond headstock. Uh, look at, you actually get uh, some nice artwork on the back with Jared's signature. You get locking Grover tuners, which is nice. Real ebony board on this, just like a Les Paul Custom, which is great with these black uh, perloid inlays. And then this is really kind of the star of the show. You have the Seymour Duncan Jared James Nichols Silencer P90. And why that's different from the last iteration, Gold Glory, is that this is a, as it, the name implies, a silent P90. So without the noise typically associated with a single coil pickup like a P90. P90 is great. It's got a singing growl to it, but it can be noisy depending on what you're playing through as it is single coil. So I'm really excited to see how this stacks up to more a more traditional P90. Um, so we'll hear that today. And then uh, just a great uh, aged Pelham Blue color. At $9.99, I do probably wish it had a hard shell case. It does come with a soft gig bag, um, but you get a lot of nice high-end features on this. So let's head over to the bench and pull it apart before we plug it in. And stick with me to the end because I'll give you my raw, honest reaction to playing the guitar as well as a final score. So let's hit the bench and get to work. All right, Epiphone on the headstock, but with that famous Gibson split diamond inlay like a Les Paul Custom. Blues power on the truss rod. You got these locking tuners, which are a great touch. Those are uh, Grover locking tuners. Uh, Jared's signature on the back here. Um, the finish is what's called age, and I'm going to compare that kind of like to a, a satin, kind of like a satin finish. Uh, all poly on this guitar. You can see it's a bound ebony fretboard with these acrylic block inlays, which looks nice. They got block inlays up through the 15th fret, and then just uh, the plain ebony looks pretty cool. Uh, in contrast to this beautiful metallic uh, aged Pelham Blue finish. Single P90, this is the Seymour Duncan Silencer P90, the Jared James Nichols signature pickup that they developed. And then I love simplicity on the guitar, no toggle switches, just volume and tone for that single dog ear P90, which is great. Wraparound Lightning Bridge, and uh, just, a, just a really sharp looking guitar. And uh, the 50s neck profile here, we'll get some measurements, but it's definitely like kind of like a traditional Les Paul Jr. It's got a fat 50s neck on it. So if you'd like a thicker neck, this would be the one, the one to look at, especially if you're maybe in the market, you know, for a Les Paul Jr. or something like that, because there's some nice features packed in. Let's get the strings out of the way and get some measurements. Got these brushed nickel hardware, actually, which looks great. Very fitting for Jared James Nichols. All right, let's get a measurement on the nut. 1.68 inches at the nut. 0.89 inches at the first, definitely 50s profile. Wow, that's that's pretty, there you go, 1.02 inches at the 12th. Yeah, that's one of the thickest necks I've measured. Body comes in at 1.9 inches thick. So we got the Seward Duncan JJN Silencer P90 with uh, without the noise. You can pull off the plastic cover, and that definitely does not look like a traditional P90. You can see there's actually multiple rails going on, so we'll see how much it sounds like a traditional P90, but it looks like obviously there's some engineering going on to keep it silent, which is really interesting to see three different rails here. Yeah, and this is made to be a drop-in, so it fits in the same space as a traditional P90. You can see it's marked Silencer JJN, P90B for bridge. They do make these as sets as well. Uh, but just need the one here. Pretty, pretty wild looking pickup. Now with the Dog Ear P90, there is no height adjustment. Um, now if you wanted to adjust the height for any reason, if you were to boost it up, you put some foam underneath, but there's no inherent, uh, you know, ability to change the height of the pickup. Just screw it down and again, stays real simple. 
All right, flipping on the multimeter, let's get a reading on the pickup. It comes in at a fairly hot 11.7 for the silencer. We'll lift up the control cavity cover. There shouldn't be too much going on under here. Just two CTS pots, 500K. This one actually feels pretty heavy. Let's get a weight. Oh, not bad. Uh, nine pounds, four ounces. We'll call it 9.25 pounds, nine and a quarter pounds. All right, flipping it around for initial reactions. Definitely a big, chunky, 50 style neck, uh, which I really like. Plenty of meat there to grab onto. It just sits kind of right in the pocket of your hand uh, really nicely. Uh, ebony fretboard is a standout. That's a nice feature on this guitar. The Gold Glory also had the ebony fretboard. And it's a really interesting kind of beautiful pairing. So it's basically, right, it's a Les Paul Jr. Uh, tried and true, but with the stylings of a Les Paul Custom. And I think it really works. It looks beautiful. Ebony fretboard, uh, split diamond headstock inlay, and then just the simplicity here. I can't wait to plug it in. That's the best part. Before we do that, remember, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, click to buy using our link. You'll find that pinned in the comments or in the description. Uh, it's super easy to buy gear in the States. You can get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. All the details below. All right, now comes the fun part. We're gonna plug this in. I'll show you clean tones. We'll dirty it up and then we'll let it sing behind a track. Uh, this will be a lot of fun. And really kind of the thing I'm gonna be focused on is what does this noiseless P90 sound like? So let's go find out.
right? The Jared James Nichols Blues Power. It's certainly got some power in it. It's an impressive P90 without the noise. And um, it's got something really cool to it. It's really got a lot of body to it. It reads as a hotter output. And I like that. It's designed exactly for, I think, the way Jared plays. And uh, of course, he makes it sound fantastic. And it was fun to take this one through the paces. So standout features, I do really like the ebony fretboard and the thicker 50s profile neck. You've got to like a 50s profile neck to want to play this guitar because it's certainly on the thicker side. Also standout, I do like the pickup and I love the tonal combinations of having just the volume and tone. There's a lot that you can do with the one P90 just in varying your volume and your tone output. And you could really hear that in the demo. I really had fun playing this guitar. So let's talk score. I give a guitar a score based on three main categories, overall playability, overall sound, overall value. In terms of playability, I personally like the thicker neck. Just be aware of that. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Playability uh, in terms of the ebony felt great. Um, the weight, just over nine pounds. Good weight for a Les Paul. And in terms of if you want to if you want to lump uh, kind of convenience and ease into playability in terms of it's just simple right it's just a simple rock machine it's like a Les Paul Jr. It's one pickup it's a volume and a tone knob that's it there's nothing to mess around or fiddle with and it makes playing a lot more focused and a lot more fun just on worrying about the music which I love um, overall playability I'll go ahead and give it uh, I'm gonna give it an 8.5 on overall playability overall sound again. Very impressed by this newly designed noiseless, or the silencer as they call it, the JJ and silencer from Seymour Duncan. That's a nice addition on this guitar. I thought it sounded really good and gave me a lot of fun sounds to play with. In terms of P90 tones, with the noiseless capability and the way I heard it as a, hot, as, as a hotter output, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.2 on overall sound. And then let's talk value. First of all, they still make the Gold Glory, and there is kind of a value problem here. The Gold Glory is at 749. It's got that gold top finish, it doesn't have the silencer, but it does have a Seymour Duncan P90 on it. Um, and at 749, it also has the ebony fretboard. It's basically got everything this one has without the finish color and the silencer pickup, which is the JJN kind of exclusive pickup. However, at 999, I would have really liked to see a hard shell case. There are other Epiphones now in the $1,000 range that are coming with hard shell cases. So for boosting the price from 749 to 999 on the aged Pelham Blue, I would have liked to see a hard shell case. I didn't see that, so it loses a little bit in value. I'm gonna probably go ahead and give it an overall value score of 6.8 on value. I would also have you compare this to the Les Paul Jr. from Gibson. I mean, you are talking about a guitar that's $1,500, but if you, if you love the sound of a single P90 and you want the real thing, I mean, for $1,500 or so, you can get the real Gibson Les Paul Jr. Also, if you wanna stay under $1,000 in Epiphone and you like things like an ebony fretboard and you like versatile guitar and you like a Les Paul, check out the Les Paul Custom from Epiphone. That's got a real ebony fretboard. It's got two humbuckers on it, but there are other options out there. I think if you like the what the JJN guitar is doing, you should check out Gold Glory if you can still find it, but the blues power was impressive. I love the sound of the pickup. It's really only losing points in value. That's gonna bring us to an overall score of 8.2 on the Jared James Nichols blues power. Solid score, loses a little bit in value because of comparables, including its own comparable, the Gold Glory. Uh, but the blues power was certainly impressive and a lot of fun to play. I thought it sounded good. Drop a comment, let me know what you think of the blues power from Epiphone, $9.99. Click the link if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear. It really helps us make these demos and in the States you get fast free shipping, easy payment plans. It makes buying new gear really easy. So check that out, pinned in the comments or in the description. Subscribe now because you can win a Martin D28 acoustic, top notch acoustic guitar. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications and enter using the Gleam link also pinned in the comments or in the description. Thanks for hanging out. I can't wait to see you on the next video. This has been fun looking at the new Jared James Nichols Epiphone Blues Power Les Paul Custom. It's a long name, but it's a simple rock machine and it was a lot of fun to play. Uh -huh.